to motivate student athletes to be a responsible generation of leaders, to empower them with the ability to lead the change to form a unified selfless community. As Chris Michaels takes over a proud Benton Girls basketball program, it's the perfect fit for the 29-year-old coach. Not just because he's already been a head coach before, and he's already an assistant football coach at the school, but because he's a true Southsider. Um, I grew up playing around here in Hyde Park and, and things like that and playing baseball and things, and so the South End's been a part of my life since day one. Only those from the South Side truly understand the mentality of the community. When you get south of the track, it's a different feeling. You know, you drive over those railroad tracks and immediately you know that you're in a different style. Everybody down here knows everybody. Michaels believes he can relate to this generation of Benton students because he once walked through those same halls and played on the same courts and fields. We were rich in things like um, love and passion and, and, you know, accountability we were rich in. But with money, we weren't rich there. And, you know, I got a lot of kids that play for me that, that they struggle paycheck to paycheck. And that's what we did when I was growing up. And so it's not any different for me to look at them and go, look, this is, this is normal. Let's go. Let's go to work. Michaels' passion for coaching started at a relatively young age while playing on his fourth grade football team. Ten minutes before practice starts, here comes screaming down the hill. I'm going to be the coach, I'm going to be the coach, and he's sprinting down this hill and, and uh, out walks a guy that eventually we're going to learn is the guy's name's Nate Reese. He found the mentor he wanted, someone who believed in him, but the relationship only lasted just a few short years. Going into my seventh grade year, um, June 3rd of my seventh grade year, I'm woken up by my dad um, and, and he looks at me and he says, you know, um, Nate's passed away. What he instilled in me is be a good person have a personality that people want to flock to, be a leader, don't be a follower. Michaels took those lessons Reese instilled at him, but early in his coaching career, Michaels also had a wake-up call. I get on to, you know, Devin Burton, and, it, and it's, it's rough. I'm on to him a lot that day, and Tabor pulls me aside and he says, look, do you even know his story? Do you know what he comes from? Do you know where he's from and what he believes in? And I said, no. And it was right then that I went, I don't know anything about the kids that I'm coaching. The teachable moment created a lasting bond between Michaels and his players. And so I tell my kids all the time, like, you're loved by more than just one, but know that you're loved by one. By changing that demeanor and approach, Michaels started to care more about the person than the wins and losses. Success is things that I control. Um, I can control things in my life, and there are other things in my life that I can't control. We're going to talk and, and get the girls' opinion and get all these coaches' opinions and see how we're going to measure our success for this year. But I can guarantee you that it, I'm not going to measure my success on what, you know, the, the wins and losses are. And my kids aren't either. Chris Roush, KQ2 Sports.